by, by greeting you all and say hi, nice meeting you, good morning and good evening for, for all of you. Uh, I would start with my address. Uh, I'm going to read it because if I don't read it will take more time. <laughs> so, in pursuit of fulfilling my mission in the World Crafts Council, I thought of initiating long-standing projects that serve in preserving and reviving traditional handicrafts, being an important component of the human cultural heritage that protects the identity of social communities. Coming from an academic back background, I found out that publishing an encyclopedia of crafts or handicrafts will serve this purpose as a straight point, starting point. Through publishing this text, I am confident that I can contribute somehow in building a wider scope of awareness about the tremendous value of preserving the, the traditional handicrafts, as well as the revival of some of the languishing ones. The objective is to sustain them, to use them today and in the future as a source of inspiration for creation and innovation. When I first submitted the concept of this project to my colleagues on the Asia Pacific Region Board, uh, during our third board meeting held in June 2014 in Muscat Oman, it was welcomed enthusiastically at that time. Today, with your efforts and contribution of all writers and editors, it is welcomed region-wise and worldwide. Thank you. Dr. Kevin Murray, Vice President of South, South Pacific Subregion and be a scholar was very interested in contributing to this long-lasting cultural project. He exerted enormous effort to put things together. We, together with the Asia Pacific Region Secretariat, had several meetings with him and the encyclopedia website developer. Dr. Kevin afterwards kept on contacting you, writers and editors, following up and li liaisoning between you and us. I first thought of publishing the encyclopedia as a printed compendium of volumes each representing one or two of the Asia-Pacific subregions, depending on the size of crafts in the respective subregion. Then I decided with my colleagues and Dr. Kevin, during a special meeting in China, I think it was 2015, uh, we decided at that time to have it online rather than in printed form, for easy access to the reader. I immediately contacted the sub-regional vice presidents to connect with the national entities and crafts organizations in their respective sub-regions, so as to select the experts and master craftspersons in each craft to contribute to this monumental cultural project. At this point, we started to receive names of scholars and master craftspersons in each country. Hence, we had the chance to know you by your names and countries, and now we have the chance to meet you virtually, which is better than not meeting you at all. It was planned as stated in the concept of the encyclopedia, which I have submitted, to keep the encyclopedia project alive through organizing forums for writers, uh, writers or other pro uh, scholars to interact and share information. So COVID-19 crisis has prompted Dr. Kevin, the coordinating editor, to realize this idea of the forum by suggesting to hold a virtual meeting as physical meetings would have been difficult 
or limited to a certain number of countries and individuals. So among the many advantages of the terrible pandemic circumstances, pandemic situation of social distancing and travel limitations, we have been obliged, just like other sectors, to go online. Mm -hmm. Having the chance to meet with the writers and the editors in Asia Pacific countries is great. This first experience will open for us other similar venues with different topics where we will hopefully meet again and again in larger or in smaller groups. Before the end result of this, some of my observations. The end result of this publication is, uh, is uh, 449 entries written and edited by 102 writers and editors from 44 countries. To go further, I would like to say that the contributions fluctuate from one subregion to the other, from one country to the other, and from one medium to the other. So it is worthwhile to highlight some specified details on the high contributing countries and the highest number of entries. For instance, the contributing number of countries from each subregion fluctuates between 11 countries and two countries, depending on the member countries, depending on the member countries in each subregion. For example, 11 countries from South Pacific, because we have a lot of islands, and the same number, 11 also countries from West Asia. It's a, it's a big subregion. We have 13 member countries. Nine countries and, uh, from Southeast Asia and eight countries from East Asia. Five from Central Asia, which is in fact the whole component of, of, of the subregion, yani all the countries in this subregion. And four from East Asia, because we don't have uh, enough countries from, for, in East Asia. As for the number of entries contributed from each subregion, Southeast Asia entries amounted to 101 entries. South Asia, 83. East and West Asia were in the high 70s. South Pacific and Central Asia in the low 50s. Uh, uh, yeah, we have. In terms of countries' contributions, India comes at the top, where it contributed with over 30. It contributed with thir 33 entries, while China, Malaysia, and Thailand contributions are between 30 to 20. I think China, 29, in the high 20s, and then 28 and 27. 12 countries contributed uh, from 20 to 10 entries. And 33 countries' contributions contribution was below 10. We have 33 countries, their contribution was below 10. If we move to contributions medium-wise, it is interesting to see that the textile entries jump over 100. We have 119 entries on textiles, followed by a huge drop to 61 entries of fiber, followed by 55 for metal, 52 for wood, and 44 for ceramics. These are, we can say, the main uh, the, the main uh, crafts. The rest of the media, leather, lacquer, and paper, 
we have only 13 entries, while stone, glass, and shell are under 10 entries. The miscellaneous, you know, of the other crafts totals to 49 entries. So with this uh, brief, uh, I hope that with this brief, uh, you know, statistical observation, which I have, uh, which I have made, we will have in the future some in-depth studies, you know, on the crafts, on the countries also. Yeah, and we will have, we can have a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, uh, topics. And uh, uh, so I hope we will have some research to be uh, done or extracted from the information in the encyclopedia. Now it is my pleasure to introduce you to my colleagues members of the Encyclopedia Editorial, Bo Editorial Board who have been a good support in their enlightened ideas and their comprehensive experience in the field. Mrs. Usha Krishna, past president of uh, the World Crafts Council, Raja Datin Paduka Fuzia, Binti Raja Tun Uda, past president of Asia Pacific region, and Mr. Indrasen, a well known, well known uh, expert in crafts, who had been, who has uh, been the head of the uh, crafts uh, department in UNESCO for around or more than three decades. And now he is the founder and head of RIDA. NGO. It's, a, it's a, an organization, non-profit organization. Now I give, I, I give now the floor to Dr. Kevin, uh, the coordinating editor, whom you have met in writing. You must, you, some of you might have met him in person to also to give us his suggestions, his uh, overview of the encyclopedia. So I invite you please, Dr. Kevin, to, to talk. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Gada. Thank you, Dr. Gada, and uh, it's wonderful to see my colleagues and some of the writers who I have not uh, yet seen by face uh, that I have worked with. Uh, I want to obviously begin by acknowledging the enormous contribution of Dr. Garda to this particular project uh, in terms of her personal commitment, um, but also her commitment as a, as a scholar in terms of seeing that it was important to provide a legacy in terms of her presidency for future generations. And uh, one phrase that she did teach me early, which seems to underpin her commitment, uh, <laughs> is the one of uh, Sadaka Jiria, uh, the perpetual donation, which is uh, a commitment that is made as a gift, as a legacy that continues to give, like a, a fountain that people might drink from. And uh, it is certainly my hope and my inspiration to see that this encyclopedia continues in terms of uh, a font of knowledge that uh, will also inspire and grow. And the encyclopedia is uh, one of mankind's great knowledge projects. As we know, there are major encyclopedia projects as part of histories of all the civilizations from the, the Chinese, the Islamic, and also the Western civilization. And one of the key elements in these encyclopedias has been the crafts. And if we look, for instance, to the Encyclopede, the French encyclopedia of the 18th century uh, that was uh, put together by the philosophers D'Alembert and Diderot, one of the key elements there was the inclusion of what they called the mechanical arts. 
And to quote from the, the preface of that encyclopedia, uh, while justly respecting great geniuses for their enlightenment, society ought not to degrade the hands by which it is served. So even though we might consider knowledge purely as something of the head, it's very important and recognized to all our civilizations that knowledge is also in our hands. And in this case with the encyclopedia, it was also in the hands of the coordinators. So I want to uh, acknowledge the regional coordinators and national editors who played a key role. I think one of the unique elements of this encyclopedia is that it was quite egalitarian in the sense that different nations nominated the crafts that they thought should be included. So in this sense, it reflects the priorities and the perspectives across the incredibly diverse Asia Pacific region that uh, where, where we, 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 we meet. And this is very unique uh, because it's the first time that we have an Asia Pacific perspective on the crafts. And uh, I think there are some very interesting lessons. Dr. Garda has already highlighted the importance of textiles in our region, uh, which is clearly uh, quite striking. One of the impressions I had as an editor was the crafts that were in the miscellaneous category. And uh, some of these, and I think particularly of the, the soap, for instance, in the Middle East, uh, would not necessarily be considered crafts in a Western context because the objects are not durable. Uh, in a Western context, sometimes crafts are seen as those things that you might find in a museum, therefore have lasted millennia. Whereas, of course, the kind of skill, tradition, and aesthetics that goes into soap is equivalent to what you might find in ceramics or in, in another technique. And I think uh, there is much work to be done in terms of uh, acknowledging this diversity, in terms of looking at our definition of craft and seeing that it uh, can include potentially techniques such as soap making, incense making, distillation, particularly the olfactory crafts that are very important in the Middle East. Uh, so there are many other possibilities to work with this clearly in terms of seeing the links now between the different uh, crafts in these countries. But I want to, I want to conclude by emphasizing that uh, the use of comments, a comment section in this website means that uh, we are open to feedback in terms of uh, any possible uh, information that uh, has been omitted so that this information can grow. As we know, one of the great modern encyclopedia projects, Wikipedia, uh, is continually evolving as new information comes in. And so I want to invite you and to encourage people to, to put comments. Those comments would then uh, come to Dr. Garda, who will then determine uh, how to action them. Uh, but I think this is the, uh, the, the benefit of working on a digital medium as opposed to paper, in the sense that it is something that can improve over time. So, uh, I would very much like again to acknowledge the, the vision of Dr. Garda in laying the foundation for this and hope that uh, uh, over time it will continue to grow and inspire, particularly as uh, we see other regions beyond the Asia Pacific look at this project and consider how they might also develop such a, a database. So thank you very much and enjoy. Thank you, Dr. Kevin. Thank you very much. And uh, <clears throat> for this comprehensive, uh, you know, idea also and picture you gave us about encyclopedias in uh, in other uh, uh, regions of the world. 
Uh, now I think we can move. Shall I say that I would like to invite uh, the ladies first? Excuse me, Mr. Hindrasa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> so I will ask uh, Mrs. Uh, Usha Krishna, the past president of the World Crafts Council, uh, to really uh, give us uh, something about her views on the encyclopedia, what would she, I mean, think of any improvement or uh, you know, uh, any additions or uh, especially that uh, in India they uh, publish a lot of, uh, uh, we can say catalogs and books and so on, on uh, crafts on India. So Mrs. Usha, please. Thank you, Dr. Gada. Thank you very much. I, uh, I, I think I've just been more on, especially in this encyclopedia uh, program, I've been more a coordinator than a, a person who has done very much to it generally, but I've been like a sounding board with ideas or new ideas, some kind of uh, uh, suggestions here, there and all that. But I think your vision, uh, Dr. Gada, is to have bring out the encyclopedia is amazing because, you know, I must bring, uh, you know, a notice here because when I was a president mm -hmm. of the World Craft mm -hmm. Council, my secretary general, Sangi Chopra, you might have heard, she and she, when we were talking, she said, you know, being uh, the uh, World Craft, we should bring out an encyclopedia of crafts. I said, are you crazy? How can we bring, any, bring out anything like this? It's just impossible. There's so many crafts in this world and just not possible. I said, let's forget it, let's do other things, simpler things, things we can definitely achieve, but not even dream of something like that. Yeah. So it was a dream, but I didn't, when you had suggested that you're going to bring out an encyclopedia, I was thinking, oh my God, this is such a huge big process, how are we going to do it? But you have done a superb job with Kevin and everybody else putting in their uh, little bit. I think it has come out so beautifully. Of course, there will always be small things here, there, but I think, on the whole, it has come out very well. And in these times, especially in this COVID times, I find we, we can uh, refer to it in so many ways. We can do more by just uh, uh, looking at this and giving so many ideas. So I think there is an enormous opportunity for doing so much, especially when it's online. And I'm sure with you becoming the president afterwards for the World Craft Council International, then you can bring an encyclopedia for the whole world also. Be the, uh, next project. <laughs> so I think that I don't have very much to say. I think I listen to everybody and maybe have comments at the end of the uh, session. But right now, with these few words, I think I'll finish. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Usha. Uh, I don't know if this will be a secret or I have to tell it now that, uh, okay, your uh, wish will be realized, I think, because. I have already spoken to Dr. Alberto Bertoloza, who was the, uh, the president of Latin America, that okay. we will have an encyclopedia for Latin America, inshallah, we will start by next year. I hope so, I hope so. Really, really so, good. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> now, uh, now we come to Mrs. Raja Fuzia, a past president of Asia Pacific region, and uh, she was the youngest president for Asia Pacific region. We were all old. <laughs> Most of us were over 60s, 70s, and 80s. <laughs> so, I, and I would like in this occasion to thank Raja Fuzia because she helped us really to select a very good editor from Malaysia who did a very good job. Of course, uh, thank you, Raja Fuzia, and please now the floor is yours. Assalamu alaikum. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay, Bismillahir Rahim. Thank you very much, Dr. Gada. And 
wonderful to see all my colleagues um, visually. Mm -hmm. It makes the heart grow fonder because I know we can't meet even until the end of the year. So this is the greetings from me. As for the encyclopedia mm -hmm. project, I really feel that you, Dr. Gada, deserves a big thank you for being able to make it happen. And we have all this good support from everybody who's here and who is not here to embark on it and to make it work. I think I like to really look forward to what will happen in the next six months, the next one year, when we will be all locked down. I think this is a time when we can spend more enriching time to uh, look, look into what needs to be done because this will be less traveling time, but more reading time, more uh, meeting time over conferencing of this nature. Um, I have enjoyed my task in coordinating with the Malaysian uh, coordinator, uh, Date Nur Azlina, and she and I, who knows most of the authors from Malaysia. I think there is a vast opportunity to bring other people in and to bring other topics in because it has been quite limited in terms of the framework that we have brought in. So I think that there's so much more work to do. And I think I thank you for, uh, for the continuation of this project and for embracing the other regions of the WCC. Thank you, Dr. Geda. Thank you. Thank you, Raja Fuziya. Uh, and now, uh, may I invite Mr. Indrasen, who is really very worried about the languishing uh, uh, crafts and vanishing crafts. Mm -hmm. And he is very keen, really, in doing something in reviving them. So, may I just introduce uh, Mr. Indrasen? Please, Mr. Indrasen, the floor is yours. Thank you, Dr. Gara, and um, once again, my uh, all my congratulations for your visionary spirit, which I think takes even greater significance today in this time of pandemic, when we are more and more dependent on the digital media and on virtual. Uh, communication. Uh, I think this is an opportunity to look at the encyclopedia besides what has been said as a very unique uh, example as a beginning and not an end in itself. That is how do we look at this tool that has been put at the disposal of all the Asia Pacific region. We need to make, to exploit and see how at the local, sub regional, and the regional level, how we make use of all this documentation and information that has been uh, so professionally and uh, intellectually. Uh, well put together by all the uh, editors and coordinators of the region under the um, super coordinating work done by Dr. Kevin Murray. As you mentioned, I think now we are, with the current situation, we are in need of uh, taking a, a, a look especially at the crafts which are in danger, not only because of the economic situation, but and the craft techniques that uh, risk to, to disappear. So perhaps I think that uh, all the coordinators and editors could give some thought mm -hmm. to, from the existing material, how can we 
try to, at the local level, to see what initiatives either have been taken or can be envisaged in order to safeguard these particular crafts and how, in the face of future uh, disasters, unfortunately, because of climate change, I mean, we cannot stop at the uh, coronavirus. Unfortunately, we are not uh, guaranteed from future uh, disasters, whether there are floods or fires or droughts, in addition to uh, epidemics. So this is just one idea I think we, I wanted to throw to you on the basis of the work already done and what is exist, how can we try to put a focus on, on these en endangered crafts and what sort of initiatives can be envisaged together by a group of countries or in sharing uh, information and using the encyclopedia and the website as a sharing a platform for sharing information, ideas, and experiences so as to keep the encyclopedia as a living tool and not just as something to put on our, uh, not in our, uh, in our library, but in a sort of museum. So this is what I wanted to share and communicate with you. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Gara, can I add? something? Thank you very much, Mr. Indrasan. Yes, Dr. Kevin, you want to say something? I, I just wanted to acknowledge uh, Mr. Indrasan's point and also to, to highlight how with the advice of the committee, uh, we determined that our entries would include information about specific artisans or workshops that were sustaining the techniques that we <laughs> present so that they would gain some something from those entries. And in my experience, uh, those artisans whose techniques are acknowledged in the encyclopedia uh, are now telling others that uh, their work has been recognized. So even though it's not the level of the UNESCO intangible cultural heritage recognition, it's still an important recognition by peers that this is seen as a significant. Uh, and, I think that, and I think there's a way of building on that, uh, potentially to create maps so that uh, people can identify where these techniques might be found today. But I think uh, Indrasen's very, very, it's a very important point on how we make this useful to the artisans. Thank you, Dr. Kevin. Now, may I ask, <clears throat> may I ask the authors or editors to introduce themselves briefly and uh, to, uh, to name the entries they have uh, written or contributed for the encyclopedia. I start with West Asia, uh, Dr. Fakhriya Al-Yahya from Oman. Will you please introduce yourself and tell us something about, about your ideas, your view, uh, whatever you would like to talk about. Simple. <laughs> uh, Dr. Fakhriya from Oman, uh, it's my pleasure uh, to be with you all today in this virtual uh, forum uh, to celebrate uh, this huge job made by a big group of people and this is the first time for me to meet all of them and it's a very good chance uh, for Corona to allow us to make this uh, virtual meeting, at least to meet each other and to mm -hmm. know the direction of this project, which might be continuing in a different aspect in the future, as I heard from Dr. Gade. Uh, so um, it was as well my pleasure to put Oman in this project. Uh, Oman, a very rich country for uh, different handcrafts, and the uh, 10 entries I contribute uh, in this uh, project uh, really, um, I believe it, th these entries could be expanded because it was a very limited, uh, I mean, words to put in this project. So uh, I wrote about 10 entries, uh, textile and ceramic, metal, 
fiber, leather work, and uh, mm -hmm. shipbuilding, which is belong to the wood uh, work. And the industry of mandus, which is the books, maybe, and the graving of the books. Uh, and the ceramic, which we called it Asaruj in Oman. Uh, and the Omani Kanjar, which is belongs as well to the metal artwork and distillation of the rose water and some herbs. So I believe there is some more uh, handcrafts we could include in the future from Oman. And I believe this uh, big uh, and huge project uh, could be benefit for a lot of students here in Oman. And uh, I mean, it's 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 good idea to make this uh, encyclopedia accessible for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think uh, I would like to thank uh, all people who, 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 who allowed me to participate, even it was like in a short period, I know about this project, especially maybe from the others, but I won't let, uh, I mean, hesitate to, to make Oman in, the, in this project. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Fakhriya. Shall we move to Jordan, maybe Mr. Ayash? Yes. Thank you. First of all, thank you for this invitation to, uh, to this, uh, let's say, uh, forum. Uh, and uh, I really want to say that this, is, uh, this project is very, very, very important for the <laughs> The craft producers and artisans, and uh, this is maybe this is a good way to um, to share these uh, and uh, handicrafts through uh, uh, the the internet uh, and the web as a whole, Be because uh, now uh, in this uh, after COVID nineteen. Uh, crisis everything is going to be let's say in a digital uh, uh, form so that uh, uh, publishing this encyclopedia will be uh, good for uh, let's say sharing and uh, uh, making awareness uh, uh, it's become more important uh, in, in these days uh, okay, uh, first uh, I will introduce myself. My name is Salim Aish. I hold a PhD degree in fine arts and I am a lecturer at the Hashimit uh, uh, University here in Jordan. I'm teaching uh, ceramics and sculpture uh, and my uh, contributions to, uh, contribution to this encyclopedia comes through uh, eight entries. Uh, these entries uh, are <coughs> uh, including, uh, first of all, the textile, which is uh, the most uh, famous and spread uh, handicraft in Jordan. Uh, and uh, the other, uh, which, and we have also the rug weaving uh, uh, handicraft, which is, uh, let's say, part of uh, textiles. Uh, and Jordan become more uh, famous in this, uh, uh, let's say, in this handicraft after many NGOs uh, in Jordan uh, start to support uh, the artisans who uh, work and, uh, in this uh, handicraft. We have also a very uh, famous uh, uh, Handicraft, which is olive wood carving, we we use the olive tree uh, wood carving in uh, let's say for a long time, and uh, we have also uh, something amazing in Jordan, uh, which uh, let's say focus in uh, in Madaba, uh, the city of uh, mosaics in Jordan. Uh, yes, mosaic is one of the most important, and uh, uh, there there is a lot of people who work in this uh, mosaics. And we and uh, I wrote something. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, 
uh, it's need more to uh, to write about it, uh, especially in in this uh, city. Uh, however, we still uh, we the most let's say interesting and uh, uh, interesting hunting graph in Jordan is filling sand bottles. Sand bottles. I can assume that it's uh, uh, gener generated in Jordan. Maybe, 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 and I think it's the first please, time. Please, can you, can you? Ah, please. Yes, please. Uh, I, I mean, because of uh, time, you know, and we have many yeah. others. Uh, okay, okay. So, so I can... talk about okay. them. So you can give us a general idea, but not the details. Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, so I, I wrote about, uh, let's say, filling bottle, uh, sand bottles and uh, uh, embroidery and ceramics and uh, basket weaving from banana leaves. These are my eight entries and uh, uh, thank you for this uh, uh, invitation again uh, and you have, uh, you can continue with uh, other persons. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. By the way, for mosaics, you have we have a craft city. Madaba is world craft city for uh, stone mosaics and for yeah. the uh, for the olive uh, wood carving. Uh, this year, last year, Beit Sahur in Palestine, Palestine was uh, famous for this. Yeah. So may I now invite because we are in West Asia now. May I, in, may I invite now um, uh, Mrs. Vida from Iran, Vida Tawahudi. Yes, Mrs. Vida. Okay. We can't hear you, Mrs. Vida. Okay, we, we can't hear you. We will come back to you, Mrs. Vida. So shall we move now to uh, to Mr. Marwan, to Dr. Marwan Abu Khalaf from Palestine, please? Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for the invitation. Actually, myself, uh, I wrote, is it here? Do you hear me? Hello? Do you hear me? Yes, yes, Dr. Marwan, yes, we see yes, you now. Sir. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm actually... Just to uh, introduce yourself, please. Pardon me? And tell us how, ma how many entries you have written. And I think we, we know you have written eight entries. Yeah, yeah in mostly in Palestine. The graphs are well known in Palestine, in Hebrew, and Bethlehem, especially, and Naples, and Jerusalem. So it was... Uh, it's, something related to woodwork uh, and uh, ceramic tiles, uh, glass, uh, and carpets, and other things. So mostly uh, traditional crafts, handmade crafts, and uh, still, still uh, keeping this craft, uh, people still working. And I think as, uh, the same as Dr. Gada said, we have won two prices now from more the crafts. One for Hebrew, for the I think, glass and mosaic or uh, uh, ceramic. And one for Musa, how it was for Woodward, actually, last, last, last time, last, uh, in the previous month. So, so uh, this craft is still, still, you know, available and working uh, mostly uh, in Palestine. And there was something, and I wrote uh, eight of them, actually, but still, still keeping uh, working either in, in villages or in towns. And... Uh, this craft, you know, using so many people and trying to keep it, you know, to keep this craft because of uh, tourist activities in, 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 in different cities uh, around uh, Palestine. Wow. Now, now uh, I'm really trying to develop something in the future to be related to uh, any more specific but more details in an encyclopedia about, a uh, small encyclopedia about the crafts which are available still, that's such as the pottery, the local, the traditional made pottery, which goes back to the prehistoric time and its techniques to the Neolithic period. 
No, it's not. I don't think in this time or this uh, uh, in, the, in this opportunity I can talk about it. But that must be later in another meeting in the in the future. Thank you very much for the invitation, and very glad to meet you in in, in this uh, in Thank this you. meeting. So hope to Thank you. Uh, all of you to be the good uh, this time and uh, mm -hmm. nice meeting. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Marwan. Uh, now we come to Dr. Ali al Najade. Please, Dr. Ali, will you introduce yourself? First, I want to congratulate you for the professorship, which you have got just recently. Yes, so, thank you very much. Please, Dr. Ali. Yes, Bismillah uh, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum jamee'an. May God bless you, and uh, I would like to uh, say thank you to everybody, uh, especially Dr. Ghada uh, Hajawi Qaddoumi, for her effort and uh, contribution to the region. And I have been very privileged and honored to be on a close distance from uh, Dr. Ghada and work with her here in Kuwait. I have learned a lot from her. I would like also to extend my thanks to Dr. Uh, Kevin Murray uh, who was uh, very helpful to me in editing these seven entries, which I uh, was uh, honored to contribute to the encyclopedia. I wrote about textiles in general in Kuwait and, and on tailoring and al-sadu weaving and best making. These are the textiles. And also I had an article on miniature uh, sail ship making and uh, jewelry and black smithing. Uh, I would like to thank everybody uh, who contributed to the encyclopedia. I believe that this is a very important uh, contribution to the world, to the crafts. And I would like to capitalize on what Mr. Anderson said um, and, and say that it will be very important to have uh, documentaries, videos on the uh, crafts, the different crafts, because um, as we experience it here in Kuwait, we've lost so many uh, people who are, uh, you know, um, good artisans and they know the crafts, the secrets of it, and we couldn't pass them to the new generations. So it will be extremely important to have these uh, videos to be, uh, you know, uh, also along the side with the encyclopedia um, at the hand of all the uh, people, the users, new artisans, the young people to learn from the experienced artisans and have something similar to what National Geography have done in so many other countries. So I believe that if we have the videos and the encyclopedia, they will walk hand to hand and providing the entire world and the human, uh, let's say generations for years to come with the needed information once we lose the artisans, so we, we will not lose the, the handcrafts and let's say the, the, the way it's being done, either the old traditional way or if maybe the new developed way. And uh, we can use the, uh, uh, the internet to kind of promote that. Um, thank you very much to everybody and I wish you the best. And I might stay for a little bit longer because I have a lecture. I told my students that I will be away for an international uh, forum, but I will be listening to you and I might go to my students uh, shortly. Thank you so much. Salam alaikum. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Ali. Thank you very much. And now we go back to Mrs. Vida. Please, Mrs. Vida. I hope we will hear you now. Mrs. Vida, we can't hear you again. So now we go from West Asia. Vida, you have to unmute yourself. Vida, you have to unmute yourself. Vida, Vida, there's a button. You just unmute yourself. Doctor Kiran also Maybe she cannot. Yeah. Okay, we come back again to Mrs. Vida. You now we finished of West Asia, we moved to Central Asia, and I invite Mrs. Raushan Kargabekova. Please, uh, Mrs. Raushan, you are welcome. Very nice to see you, and uh, please introduce yourself. 
so apologies i'm learning english now but i still speak fully uh, so excuse me uh, i want to thank you so mrs gada uh, and mr kevin murray uh, for the initiative and this work uh, for me it was uh, the first experience in this encyclopedia format and I'm from uh, Kazakhstan. I'm senior lecturer in National University of Arts. And for Encyclopedia, I will written 12 articles about uh, traditional textiles, jewelry, embroidery, woodworking, musical instruments, uh, leather, and others. And um, my editor, uh, Mrs. Ajan Bitkulova and translator Ajar uh, and photos were provided uh, by the Union of Artisan Craftsmen of Kazakhstan and um, I, want, uh, I want to point out that your uh, decision to create an encyclopedia of living crafts was uh, a very important step uh, in the work of preserving and promotion traditions. And so thank you very much. And I'm glad to, to meet and see uh, many others and best records from Kazakhstan. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Uh, unfortunately, Mrs. Dinara, she might be, it was, maybe she, the internet is, is not good enough to join us. May I, shall we move now to South Asia and invite uh, Mrs. Uh, Ritu from India. Okay, how do I Mrs. change Ritu. Thank you. Hello. Yeah. No, no, the no, highest no. number of I you must have heard that okay. India okay. has the highest number of oh, uh, class thirty three. So I want Please. to start. Uh, I want to. I want to start by congratulating Dr. Gada for her vision, and the editorial board, Dr. Kevin Murray, Indra Sen, my old friend, Dr. Uh, Madam Raja Fuzia and Usha Krishnan for an amazing and remarkable job they have done. I work with the Craft Revival Trust and I am based in New Delhi. In India, we listed, as Dr. Gada said, 33 crafts. And we attempted to take good care to have a representation from across all the states and union territories of the country. Similarly, in our matrix of choice, we were conscious of including varied material categories. The list, in addition, included six crafts that were endangered. As it is, we considered it important to highlight them. But before I start leading the list, I want to thank Manjari Nirula, the vice president of our region who was a constant support and help in every aspect of the work. So the 33 th crafts include, and I'm going to read them out, uh, Bandhani Bandhej Sugandhi, the tie and dye crafts of India, Banjara embroidery, Chamba Rumal embroidery, the Chundan Vallam snake boats of Kerala, an endangered craft, the Chow mask of East India, the Danke Kakam embroidery of Udaipur, again, another endangered craft. Embroidery crafts from across India. The Ganjifa playing cards, again endangered. Hand block printing in Bagh, Madhya Pradesh. Hand paper making in Jaipur. Horn carving of Kerala. Jaipur quilted Brazai. Carved, the miniature portable shrines of Rajasthan. The culture tea traditional cookware of Tamil Nadu, Kani shawl of Kashmir, the Kari e Kalamdani, the papier-mâché of Kashmir, Orai grass mats of Patamadai, lacquer crafts of Etikopaka, law and loom weaving of Nagaland, metal casting across India, 
Joanne. Kachikari marble inlay of Agra. Patta Chitra narrative scroll painting of West Bengal. The Patta cotton handloom weaving of Kotpad, Odisha. Again, an endangered craft. The pit craft of Tamil Nadu and West Bengal. Textile arts of India. Tanji hand cut stencils for patterning. Sarkanda grass furniture of Haryana. The tongue camel girt belts of Jaisalmer, again an endangered craft. Terracotta plaques of Mulela. Teva jeweled objects of glass, gold, again endangered. The Tilla Juti's traditional footwear of Punjab. The Usta Kam painting on camel leather, again endangered. And wild silk weaving. So that is 33 in number. So thank you all. This was a great opportunity. Thank you. thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, you have done really a lot. Your contribution is really a, a very, very obvious. Thank you very much. And uh, you have taken the words of thanks to Mrs. Manjari Nirula from my mouth because I was planning to uh, to uh, really thank her for connecting us with the you and other crafts people and crafts experts and uh, she was at that time you know the a, a vice president of South Asia and uh, she co then she continued yeah. and by the time we launched the encyclopedia she was senior vice president I don't know where she is now but uh, we really many thanks to uh, Mrs. Uh, Manjari Nirula. Uh, uh, yes, Manju, have you heard? <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. Now we go to Bhutan to Sunam, Mrs. Uh, Sunam. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Will you please introduce yourself? Hi everyone, I'm Sonam Lhamu from. Pa Can you hear? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm yes. Sonam yes. I'm Son. I'm Sonam Lhamu from Bhutan. I work as news editor, English news editor in the national radio and television station. But currently, I'm in Australia pursuing my master's degree. So before I tell you about my entries, I would like to thank. Uh, my friend, my dear friend Kriti, who's also here for helping me to connect with Dr. Kevin so that I would contribute in this project. I'm so happy that I, I was able to contribute from Bhutan. So out of, out of the 13 arts and crafts in Bhutan, I have, uh, my, there, I have written about five entries, which are ceramics, which is known as Jimzo in Bhutan, and Temzo, which is known as tailoring, and Tazo, which is weaving, Shinzo, which is woodwork, and the fifth entry is Tazo, which is known as painting in Bhutan. So thank you everyone. Yes. For all yes. the thank, you. thank you very much, Mrs. Lamu. Thank you very much, Mrs. Lamu. And uh, since we are meeting now, you know, we have been struggling to have members from Bhutan. Will you please, after you have done a very good job on the encyclopedia, will you please just recruit to Asia Pacific region members from Bhutan? You have a rich, uh, uh, you know, cultural uh, heritage and we would love to have a member, members from Bhutan. Thank you very much. Thanks for your contribution. And now I move to Miss uh, from to Nepal, uh, Kriti Bujo. Uh, Salam Hello. alaikum. Hi. Good afternoon, Salam. Yeah. Good afternoon. Good morning. Whatever the time differences it is. Uh, I think if I remember correctly, it was back in 2014, 15, maybe five years back when I was a journalist for an English daily called Republica. I was connected to Mr. Kevin by the president of Handicraft Association of Nepal, the then president Puskarman Shakye, and uh, 
then we started this brainstorming this project we identified whole lots of i think more than 50 uh, handicrafts from nepal and then we finalized into eight uh, to be honest i don't remember what those eight were and currently i'm doing my phd in china but i'm here stuck in nepal i came for vacation in january and i got stuck here due to the covid so and it was great great pleasure meeting uh, Kevin here last year, I think it's last year, right, Kevin? So we met in person, we talked about other projects on crafts as well. So for me, it was like when we started like talking about encyclopedia, I was very excited in the beginning itself. And I tried my best to give my best to this uh, project. And I think we as a team worked very well. I would like to thank you as well, Ms. Mrs. Garda, because we talked in maybe we talked a lot in the email conversations like time and again like i was always asking like when will it get published <laughs> is it going on or not so finally we are here today so very much excited even though it's online like launching and everything went online from offline so and then after like finishing my project kevin asked me to connect if there is someone from bhutan and I met Sonam back in, I think it was back in 2012 in a conference in New Delhi. And then I connected Kevin to Sonam. So that's how we got connected to each other. So I don't remember those eight crafts, but I know I worked on textiles, ceramic, and then some of the endangered projects like bamboo projects. Uh, so those were few I, I could remember. And one was on the Nepali black topi, like traditional, very traditional one from my tribe. So that is how we work together. I really feel great honor to be a part of this and I look forward to working with you all again. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much. And very nice meeting you. And I hope you will be more active in Nepal after you come back from China. So sure. now we will uh, we will move to uh, Southeast Asia and start with Indonesia, Mr. Akbar Adi. Mr. Akbar. Yes, thank you, Dr. Gada. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Adi. Um, I'm actually a junior lecturer in Institute of Technology in Bandung um, under the Department of Craft and I teach um, ceramic craft. Actually, initially I invited in this project, not directly uh, invited by Kevin Murray, but introduced by my friends, uh, Franz Panjaitan, who contribute his entries on uh, textiles from North Sumatra. And from him, I was invited to, uh, he asked me to contribute yeah, at least one one entry to to Indonesian ceramics. So I contribute in uh, one um, style of ceramic in Indonesia, especially in Java, in uh, Yogyakarta region, uh, where there are some ceramic village that produce uh, still produce the traditional ceramic of um, Java. So I wrote about that um, only small entries, and um, if I know the scale of this project that uh this grant um i wish i could help and invite my my colleague to contribute to contribute more on um, indonesian ceramic in this project so i hope maybe we, uh there are still opportunities in the future that we from indonesia could contribute more from before so i think and yeah. i think that's from me and thank you once again to you dr Greta and kevin Murray for the opportunities Thank you very much. At the end of the session, uh, I will mention that it is still open for new, um, but uh, a voluntary work for a new addition, you no know, corrections or new entries or whatever. So everybody is welcome. May I move to Mrs. Uh, Linda McIntosh? Mrs. Linda? Yes. Um Hello, yes, yeah. thank you very much. Uh, yes, I believe you can hear me. Yeah, and thank you very much for the honor of being able to join this team of esteemed individuals dedicated to craft. Yeah, special thanks go to Dr. Gada and Dr. Kevin 
it's nice to see old friends such as Ms. Mr. Edward Ong and as well as meet um, new friends who are dedicated to the crafts of their respective countries. I have a PhD, um, it's a multidisciplinary degree from the Simon Fraser University in British Columbia, Canada. Um, my specialty is textiles, but, uh, um, but I'm a, a curator. I have to work in all mediums. I've been based in Long Prabang, Laos for about eight years now, but I've worked in the region um, for, for many years before, previously in Bangkok. And regarding Laos, I wrote nine entries. So out of nine, three were dedicated to textiles. So I have weaving and then also embroidery, as well as looking at the, um, the cord embroidery that is basically couching using metal threads that are placed on fabric and, and tacked down. Um, other entries included basketry, wood, pottery, metal, and bamboo flutes, especially the can, which is a mouth organ composed of uh, multiple pairs of um, bamboo, bamboo tubes. And the can received, uh, let's see, the, you know, it was added to the UNESCO representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity two years ago. Um, the crafts of Laos are quite diverse, and so it was quite difficult to, to select. Um, the items to add and it's, you know, it's, it's not good news to know that more can be added and there can be more elaboration on the various mediums and various crafts of Laos. You know, I, want, I don't want to take too much of your time so thank you again and for allowing me to join this project and as well as to be part of this meeting. Thank you Mrs. Linda and nice to be introduced to you and I, I and as I said, I hope I will meet you all, maybe physically in the near future. Yes, now, uh, I would like to call Mr. Edric. You know, Mr. Edric, when we started the encyclopedia, he was the senior vice, vice president of Asia Pacific region and one of the most enthusiastic uh, uh, members for this project. Mm -hmm. And uh, he really helped a lot in uh, recruiting people to write for Southeast Asia. And uh, as I said, we had a good contribution, maybe 29, around uh, 29 or 28 entries from uh, uh, Southeast Asia. So I would like to invite Mr. Edric, uh, to just, uh, I introduced you, but you can say more about you <laughs> and, you know, about the rich history in crafts since you were very young. <laughs> so I invite you, Mr. Edric, please. Thank you, Dr. Gada, and congratulations to the team, the editors, and uh, especially to Dr. Kevin. Um, I think if I remember, I contributed to <laughs> two items. One is on the Iban textiles and the other is on basketry of Sarawak. But uh, I, I just want to add a few words to what uh, Kevin and uh, Indra Sen has spoken about. And I think that uh, the encyclopedia is really something which has become a very important repo repository of knowledge of the, the crafts from the Asia Pacific. And this is one of the flagship projects that the Kolgada has really you know, pushed and uh, contributed to in her term, her two terms as uh, WCC APR president. But the other two flagship projects which you have really championed and, and uh, really moved on during this period is one is on the Award of Excellence for Handicrafts and the WCC Craft Cities. Now, I think that uh, in, in our strategies for really recognizing uh, but, and, and really enforcing the knowledge so that these crafts will continue to be practiced and not languished, is that we have the knowledge, but we need also now to strategize on recognition. For well, recognition is really one of the tools towards marketing and promotion. 
And I believe that the way in which we have drawn inspiration here in the state of Sarawak from having been recognized Kuching as World Class City is that we have now in the government level really taken on the, uh, the task of recognizing living legends, young masters, and emerging new communities of crafts. And the documentation now comes in because we have just, in Society at Telia Sarau, managed to get funding from the state government to do a video documentation, as well as a book on living legends of Sarawak master craftsmen. So this is a project which we are going to do for the next uh, one, year, one year, and it will be recognizing 23 living legends of crafts in Sarawak. And this is not just going to be a coffee table book. It will be also digital online, but we will also be doing video documentation. And I think that everyone now realizes that the, the, the digital media, the, the virtual uh, publicity is becoming more and more important at this time when we are all under, as you say, uh, travel lockdown. And so people are tuning in to the internet to find out more information. So which is why I think that uh, one of the things that we now probably have to, to think about is how to better promote and utilize the encyclopedia and to see what kind of uh, uh, footfall or, or how many clicks come into that site to determine whether people are actually looking at our information or if not, how we can better publicize and draw more eyeball <laughs> and clicks into our encyclopedia website. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Edric. It's really very important, this recognition of the craftspeople, especially the old ones, the legends, you know, this. And I believe that craftspeople really for them, recognition is uh, more important sometimes, you know, from the material, you know, from the material revenue which they have. It is very important. This is a very important project. I think we met uh, these uh, legends in Sarawak when we visited you. You had an exhibition for them. Thank you, Mr. Idrik. And then, I move to South Pacific, where we only have Dr. Kevin. And may I, Dr. Kevin, invite Mrs. Vida before you, because you will be the last on the list. South Pacific is the sixth subregion. And to see if we can hear Mrs. Vida now from Iran. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we are not. Unfortunately, Mrs. Uh, Vida, we, but we are happy to have you and I hope you heard. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, yes. yes. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Gada, and especially Dr. Kevin, because uh, he helps me to connect, connect the, these uh, meetings. It's uh, very good for me. I hope all of you, you are well uh, in these uh, difficult circumstances. And I am so glad to see you uh, even uh, virtually. <laughs> And uh, I am very excited to have an encyclopedia meeting. It's a very important for us uh, because uh, because uh, I don't, Dr. Gada, we know uh, we currently have 295 measure of handicrafts. Do you know? Yes, because uh, which have been pro uh, approved as active measure crafts until now in Iran. And um, actually, in the last uh, few years, we have also revived about 99 measure of handicrafts and crafts uh, sector uh, that, uh, were, uh, that uh, 
were forgotten or were being forgotten in our country, okay? And uh, I am so happy this uh, psychopedia focus on, uh, uh, focus on uh, 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 lang uh, revived, revived language uh, in uh, this, uh, for example, region. It's uh, very important because we have uh, uh, several suggestions. Uh, and um, according to revived of uh, 19 uh, nine uh, fields of handicraft, um, um, I want to ask to add several fields or a major uh, of crafts, uh, which are in uh, priority and in danger major. Uh, it's a very important for us because uh, several uh, fields of handicraft are uh, in uh, our, our area as, uh, for example, the name for world craft city or villages. For example, Zilu uh, have forgotten last uh, times, okay? And about, uh, for example, uh, Taubafi. Taubafi, do you know? We have a, we have a uh, village as a world craft village, okay? And uh, for example, uh, Potrin Kalpuregan village. Uh, and uh, I think uh, WCC or uh, uh, APR, APR uh, can uh, prefer to focus on handicrafts on undevelopment area. It's a very important and uh, handicraft uh, cause to uh, develop uh, every uh, every area in uh, the countries. Uh, I ha uh, we have a good uh, experience about these crafts, and I uh, Dr. Kada said me about uh, uh, use uh, about using the experience of. Uh, Miss Ma Miss Manjari about uh, in her country, but uh, I couldn't have a uh, opportunity to uh, speak and uh, advise uh, from her. <laughs> but uh, I want to I want to register I want to have a register points and documents about uh, activity and experience uh, uh, about, uh, for example, uh, languishings. Uh, uh, crafts of, uh, for the other's country, for example, our country. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Thank Kata. you very much. I know, I know the time is a very, very thank short. You. Thank you very much. And uh, you know, My, we all know that it, it's, Iran really is uh, putting a lot of effort to. Uh, to save these uh, languishing uh, crafts. And yeah. I remember one of, them, one of them was the Zari Buff. Yes, know, yes, uh, yes. Which you have revived, uh, just this was maybe starting reviving it something like five, six years ago. Yes. So uh, I would like uh, to thank everybody. And then yeah, I okay. just would like to say that yeah. Uh, have we forgotten anybody here? I think everybody... Oh, yes, uh, <laughs> Dr. Kevin, sorry. <laughs> because Dr. Kevin wrote on Australia and... Uh, uh, yes. Okay. I could also say... So the only one from South Pacific... In terms of East Asia is as Dr. well. It's Dr. Kevin. Unfortunately, Dr. Kevin, we were really expecting more people from uh, they promised to join us but i don't know what happened uh, perhaps getting a little late uh, this this corner of the world uh, but also because uh, of east okay. asia i should say that most of the east asian entries came through organizations like the korean craft and design foundation uh, the association of traditional crafts in japan the Research Institute in Taiwan, and of course the uh, the China Arts and Crafts Association. So that's why they're not represented here because we worked with the organizations. In terms of South Pacific, uh, most of the entries were written by uh, by each each person who contributed contributed only one or two entries because they were scattered across many different islands. Uh, and I think this is quite a unique thing for us to be able to 
create that network in the different islands, even though they contributed one or two. So it's great to build on. And I've already, Dr. Garda, you've had somebody from Tong the Tonga Island, I know, interested to include more entries. So I think this is something important to build on. But just one possibility in terms of responding to the issues about how to activate this. One thing the board might like to consider is the possibility of creating a logo for the encyclopedia and then having people whose crafts are represented in the encyclopedia then feature the logo on their website, okay. which would both promote the encyclopedia, but also help them in terms of using the encyclopedia to give value to what they're doing as a contribution to the treasury of crafts in our region. That may be something worth considering. Thank you very much, Dr. Kevin. And it was really a very nice opportunity to meet you all and to hear about your contribution. And uh, as a closing remark, I would say that as usual, nothing is always complete and there must be some gaps to be filled. So we hope that you as experts and scholars in the field will help us in perfecting this work by your views and enlightening ideas. I have spoken with Mr. Dr. Kevin before being the coordinating editor that we can accept some additions, corrections, amendments, etc., to be uploaded on the website. And I added that any other addition of new entries after the launching of the encyclopedia will be accepted as a voluntary contribution. So if any one of you finds an urgent need for correcting any information, he or she is welcome to send it to the editorial board to do so with our utmost appreciation. Thank you very much. And uh, if anybody would like to say it or to add anything else, I would with my thanks, I wish you a uh, good luck and wishing you all continuous safety and good health and looking forward to meeting you again and again in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank Dr. You. Kevin. Would you like no, to see no. should, should we uh, have a group photo? <laughs> oh, yeah. Because uh, yes, uh, can we can do, I can take a screenshot Normally, if you do that during the talk, people have got their Zoom faces on, which can be quite distracted. But if I give you a countdown, uh, we can all be looking at the camera. Uh, is okay. that okay? You as well. <laughs> <I'll send>. Okay. <laughs> uh, you, uh, one, two, three. Terrific. All right. Okay. I'll share. Yeah. Thank you. You look so dark. Thank you. Background. I think you need to take Thank one more. Thank, Thank, Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Sure. Many more of, uh, I mean, our colleagues, I hope so, in the future, so. Sure. Thank you, goodbye. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Dr. Rada. Thank you to everybody. Thank you, Dr. Rada. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shevi. Thank you, thank you. Miss Anjari. Yusha. Thank you. Thank Have you a all. nice time. And Have now, a nice time. you too. For three weeks. Dr. Kevin now is down oh, yeah. in for three weeks, right? Right. Yes, lockdown so, for another four, five weeks. Five weeks. Five weeks? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Lockdown. This is uh, recent. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Ritu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Manju. Nice time. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Gada. Thank you, Dr. Bye, Kevin. Kevin. Bye, Usha. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Gada?
Dr. Gada? Yes, I hear you. Okay, I can't be there for the meeting tomorrow. I hope you realize that. Well, tomorrow. Not tomorrow. September 11. Oops. <laughs> I missed a month. Of course I'll be there. Of course I'll be there. <laughs>